We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Throws complete. He's got room to work. The 50. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. Boy, great time to go with the play action. Defense was anticipating run. They came up to stop the ball carrier. The quarterback was able to find his receiver downfield. He makes a big-time play and a great catch for a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a six-yard gain on the run for the tailback there. Good decision making that time on the option. He read the defense perfectly and was able to make a good pitch. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. He's into the open field. Nice run there. Travis gets six yards after taking it himself on the option. Inside give, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Rose left, the running backs got it. They bring him down in the backfield. He launches one for the end zone. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Big stop by the defense. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Quick out to his receiver, and he's immediately tackled. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Quick throw. Tackle made right around the 40. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. <laughs> they
They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he is drilled at the 36-yard line. Parrish gains eight yards on that play. From the 36-yard line, it's third down. And he's tackled at the 20. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Flips it middle to the running back, and they'll bring him down behind the line. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second down and 11. Ball on the 21-yard line. Play fake and looking to run. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. He fights forward to about the seven. From the seven yard line. Second down. Brought down around the nine yard line. This is the tenth play of this drive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at the six-yard line. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. Miami could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The Hurricanes are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's scrambling. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 21-yard line. Swings it out left to the halfback. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. A one-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. from their own 20-yard line. Third down. Got it, and brought down immediately. They'll bring him down at the 41. They're set to go for another round. 
Miami is up by three. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 40. And down he goes around the 48 yard line. He's going to air it long. And he holds in the deep pass to the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. The wideout here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. And he converts the extra point with a three-play, 59-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So the score now, 10-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The Hurricanes are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, right? you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. First and ten. Ball on their own 48. Pitches out and the ball is up for grabs. It's recovered and he's stopped behind the line. This offense can consider themselves very lucky to get this ball back. That's about as sloppy of an option play as you'll ever see. The timing and the focus are so important when trying to run this offense and it looks to me like they just lost their focus there for a second. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. So they pick up three on the option keeper. Here, the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his block on a corner or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. And he throws right away. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play, but he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big physical athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They didn't try to just force something there. Just good, hard running for the first down. First and 10. Ball on their own 49. He's at the 40. That's a great tackle at the 37-yard line. Right 
He gets out to about the 35-yard line. From the 35-yard line, second down. And a safety with the interception. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh boy, you're grabbing your helmet, sprinting on that field, you're ready to go. From their own 30-yard line, first down. Throws it out right to the running back. And they push him out around the 38-yard line. Gets out to around the 45. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. From the 45-yard line, first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. He makes it to the 35-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And now he's got room to run. Runs right for a nice game. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Huge play. That was simply sensational running, and it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He makes the PAT. Fitzgerald has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's taken down at the 29. Miami's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. Miami has a three-point lead. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He'll keep it on the ground again. He makes it to the 48-yard line. 
So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Makes it to the 24. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made at the 22. Passes to the wide out and he can't pull it in. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That sets them up with a first and goal. Well, that's a big time play there. And as a quarterback, you're willing to take certain chances with certain wide receivers. It's, you're not going to put the ball into coverage like that very often. But if you have confidence and trust and you've worked out a lot with that wide receiver, you know what his abilities are and you know that you have confidence that he's going to be able to come down regardless of putting it up in traffic, you're willing to take that chance. And that time, it's exactly what we saw. We've got second and goal. Eight yards out, Miami holds a field goal lead. And they get nice yardage on that run. It's the 11th play of the drive. And he throws it away. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 21-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Throws a laser across the middle, and he's tackled around the 31-yard line. The Seminoles will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. The Hurricanes in front by six. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one-step rep, two-step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David. But could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? I, it goes hand-in-hand, hand, doesn't it, Reese? <laughs> I mean, well, usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But... 
You know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time, and, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Miami is up by six. And he tackles them hard at the 15. So the sack makes this a second and long. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Fires incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Jacobs is back deep to return. Jacobs fields it at the 42. He's taken down at midfield. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here he goes. He's at the 40. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Florida State. Just a great effort there. Once he had some space, it was off to the races. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Smith from the two. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And down he goes around the 22 yard line. From their own 22 yard line, it's second down. down right around the 24 yard line makes the grab and he's got the first they'll bring him down right around the 38 yard line first down 10 to go ball on the 38 They work the right side, and there is nothing going there.
He scrambles, tries to get around the corner. He takes off. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. And they make the stop right around the 34. Misdirection handoff. They'll knock him down for a loss. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's got the junior. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 23. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown, Hurricanes! You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And they're looking to get two points here. And the goal line defense digging in here. Caught it, and the conversion is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He makes it to the 18-yard line. The Hurricane staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at, uh, at the front leading the way. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, first down. Runs it right, nice pickup. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. From their own 33-yard line, it's third down. Tackle around the 36-yard line. And he can't hang on to the ball. Well, that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for a return man is of the utmost importance. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. He makes his way out to about the 35. 
It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Miami is up a score. Wide receiver screenplay. He's pushed out of bounds at the 36-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 36. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. it out in a hurry. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Scrambling around. Tackle made at about the 31. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 31. And he's level at the 31. The offense gonna try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set and the defense counters with their dime look. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. And he's taken down at the 41. Florida State's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. First down grab. And they push him out around the 39-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 39-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Hurricanes in front, 21-14. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Miami is up seven. Pitches it. He's got the corner. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Second down at 12. Ball on the 41. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Ooh. 
Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. tackled he didn't make it great stand by the defense and they get it back for their offense both teams realize that when the ball is snapped we're one play away from a very different ball game They get nice yardage on that run. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Got an opening. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 48. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 45. quickly and he's got his man they'll drop him for a loss they get a one yard loss on that one really they just had nowhere to go after the catch the punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Miami is up by a touchdown. He makes his way to about the 28. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Parrish on the delay. They bring him down in the backfield. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He drops it. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They try running left. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line.
from their own 46-yard line. It's first down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Zips it to the back, and down he goes at the 49-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick throw. Incomplete, and they'll turn it over. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He is drilled at the 41-yard line. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. The Seminoles will use their first time out of the half. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Brought down around the 40-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Now it's fourth down, and these guys are going to have to punt this one away. So this game is really hanging in the balance right now. Jacobs is back to receive. Fielded at the 19. He's taken down at the 30. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Knocked out of bounds at the 36. Second and five, ball on the 36. He scrambled. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. Flips it middle to the running back. That's a great tackle at the 45-yard line. And they back up three yards on that play. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 45. Good tackle there in space. Going deep. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. 
And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. You can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. We have less than a minute to go. He takes a knee. Florida State will take their final timeout. From the 46-yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. This one's all but wrapped up. The Hurricanes come out on top, 21-14. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA football.